when you choose supplements, these are some of the bastions, the foundations of it. What is the power, efficacy or potency? What is the weightage in therapy and priority? What do I mean by this? Okay, somebody comes to you, okay, and they've given you 10 symptoms. You have to rank the symptoms in order of priority. So let me ask you this question. Somebody comes to you with cracked nails and acidity. Which is more important? Cracked nail or acidity? So I'm giving you only two options. Which is more important? Cracked nail or acidity? Answer in your chat box. Answer in your chat box. Answer in your chat box. Absolutely right. It's acidity. Acidity is number one. Right? Because it's going to hurt you. Okay? Now, next question. I'm going to give you one thing that I would like you to tell you is take your vitamin D in the morning because apparently vitamin D affects sleep. So there were a few, there are a few studies that uh, I looked in after one of my orthopedic surgeon friends messaged me and says, you've given me vitamin D for my running at night. Don't give it at night, give it in the morning. So I asked him why Dr. Vishal, he says, so it affects sleep. So, you know, for nine years, we had been recommending calcerol at night with your curd or your milk. And I have been taking calcerol all my life and it's never affected my sleep. But that piece of information just told me that change the protocol in the clinic and move vitamin D in the morning. Yeah, it's nice to give it with like a fatty food or like a teaspoon of olive oil or a vitamin E capsule or an omega-3 or just with a, with a wholesome, wholesome meal is nice to give the vitamin D. Capsule. Elemental means the ultimate delivery. So your bottle might say 100 milligrams of iron. The body doesn't absorb 100 milligrams of ferrous sulfate or ferrous fumarate. It absorbs the, how much the body can uptake. That's called the elemental iron or elemental calcium or elemental uh, magnesium. So as a dietitian nutritionist, always look for this word is so-and-so, so-and-so amount will give you how much of elemental. That is the true absorption. And then you know, oh, RDA is 12 milligrams. Elemental iron is 4 milligrams. So I'm giving four. So what am I giving for my diet and how do I work up to achieving 12? Or I'm giving elemental of uh, 40 milligrams. So my uh, requirement is 18, but my hemoglobin is low. So let's bombard it with three or four times the capacity so that that pushes it into the uh, body and the blood for, for it to work.